and today I'm gonna show you how to make a healthy shamrock shake. So if you love shamrock shakes around St. Patty's Day, then you are totally going to love this recipe. So today's recipe is only 322 calories and has over 30 grams of protein. I know, isn't that freaking amazing? As opposed to the other shamrock shake that you can buy in like a fast food restaurant that has over 800 calories and zero grams of protein. So if you stay tuned today, I'm gonna show you exactly how to make this yummy, healthy shamrock shake. Now, if you are new to my channel, my name is Lindsay and this is my YouTube channel. It is Fit and Fabulous and I make videos like this every single week. And my whole goal is to teach women how to lose weight for good in a healthy and sustainable way. Now, I believe that protein is key, especially when it comes to losing weight. So I like to create delicious, yummy, high protein recipes so you can enjoy some of your favorite foods all while losing weight and becoming fit and fabulous. So if you are new to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as notifications so you guys never miss a video like this in the future. Plus, if you do like this type of video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Ding! And that way I know to make more videos like this in the future. So if you're ready to learn how to make a yummy, healthy, delicious shamrock shake, then let's get started. So the very first thing you're gonna need for this recipe is a blender cup because we're basically gonna be putting everything into a blender cup and blending it today. So I'm gonna be actually using the Ninja blender, which I really like. Um, so this is like, what is it called? Like the Nutra Ninja as opposed to like the Magic Bullet. As you can tell, like the size is definitely a lot different just because we're making like a fairly large shake today. So that's why I'm just using like the Nutri Ninja. The very first ingredient we are gonna be using is a little bit of ice cream. So a little bit of Halo Top just because it's a little bit healthier of an ice cream. Now, when you go to like the fast food places and actually order a Shamrock Shake, all they do is like take their, their like vanilla ice cream, they add some milk to it, mix it up with a little bit of mint, and then that's basically it. But today, our recipe is gonna be way better way healthier and like way tastier in my mind. So for the ice cream part of it, we're gonna be using some Halo Top just because it's a little bit healthier. It does have a little bit more protein in it as well. And I just kind of like the flavor of it. So this is the birthday cake Halo Top. Now you can definitely use like the vanilla if you want to. So in today's recipe, we're gonna be using a half a cup of the Halo Top. Okay, so we have our half a cup of the Halo Top ice cream. We're just gonna take our blender cup and just pour it. So next we're gonna be using some frozen cubes of coconut milk. So this actually isn't like the full fat coconut milk. This is just like the light coconut milk that you can buy. I'll show you guys what the container actually looks like. So this is actually what I got from Walmart. So it just says light coconut milk. So it just has a few less calories and a few less fat than like the actual real coconut milk. But this is kind of like the key ingredient. Well, I think all of it is kind of like the key ingredient. But this is like the key ingredient, I think, to make it like super, super creamy. Like frozen cubes of coconut milk is like the bomb, I've decided. Like I thought like frozen cubes of like almond milk was really good, but frozen cubes of like coconut milk is like way better. So in order to actually like make cubes of frozen coconut milk, of course, all you need is a tray. So I like to use a silicone tray just because it's super easy to kind of like pop things out. Now this is actually a tray that I originally bought I think for cake pops or something, but it works really, really well to actually make like frozen cubes of like almond milk and coconut milk, so I love it. In today's recipe, we're gonna be using four cubes of the frozen light coconut milk. So basically that equals like a half a cup of the coconut milk. So take your four cubes and put them in the blender cup. Now, if you guys don't have like coconut milk or say you just don't like coconut, you can definitely use like frozen cubes of almond milk. It's just not gonna be quite as creamy, so FYI. Next, we're gonna be using a little bit of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Now, if you guys want to use maybe a little bit more of like the coconut milk, you definitely can. Or if you want to use like soy milk or cashew milk or whatever kind of milk, you definitely can as well. But today, I'm gonna be using the unsweetened vanilla almond milk just because I do like the flavor of it. So we just need a half a cup into our blender cup. So we have our half a cup. 
Next, we're gonna be using some protein powder. So we're gonna be using some level one protein powder by First Form, and this is the vanilla ice cream flavored protein, and it is delicious. So you just wanna be sure that whatever protein powder you put into your Shamrock Shake today, it is vanilla flavored, because if not, it's gonna give it a weird flavor. So be sure to just use like vanilla in your shake. So in today's recipe, we're just gonna be using one scoop of protein. Now I do like to use level one protein powder on a regular basis, just because they use low temperature processing. So basically what that means is that when they actually create the protein, they create it in a low temperature way, so that you actually get like a better quality protein, as opposed to like the 99% of the other protein powders out there, they use high temperature processing, and that can cause a lot of gas, bloating, upset stomach, a lot of like nastiness. So when you actually use low temperature processing to actually create the protein, you actually avoid all of that. That's why I like to use level one protein powder on a regular basis. You just want one scoop of protein powder into your blender cup. Next, we're gonna be using a little bit of swerve. So we're just gonna be sweetening up our shamrock shake just a little bit. So I like to use Swerve on a regular basis just because it's an all natural sweetener and it tastes pretty good. It doesn't have like a nasty aftertaste. You can basically find Swerve at like your local grocery store or on Amazon or wherever. So it's super easy to get as well. Now there is two different kinds of Swerve. So there is like the granular Swerve as well as there's a powdered Swerve. Oh, and I guess there's also a brown sugar Swerve, which I just learned about. But today we're just gonna be using the granular swerve just because that's the one I have on hand and that's the one I find kind of works really well with the shake. So in today's recipe, we're just gonna be using two tablespoons of swerve. So one and two. Next, we're gonna be adding in a little bit of vanilla just to kind of give it a little bit more of a vanilla taste. So in today's recipe, we're just gonna be using a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. Next, we're gonna be adding in a little bit of mint extract because you can't have a shamrock shake without the mint flavor. That's pretty much like the whole shake. Now, the only thing is when you add the mint, usually like the mint extract has a really, really strong flavor. So you don't wanna add like that much to it. So in today's recipe, we're just gonna be adding in an eighth of a teaspoon of mint. We have our eighth of a teaspoon going into our shaker cup. And last but not least, we're gonna be adding in a little bit of green food coloring because we need to have that nice, bright, vibrant green color when we're drinking our shamrock shake. So we wanna take our blender cup and add in some green coloring. So you can add in as much or as little green coloring as you want. As you guys can see how much I added in. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Like so. And then we wanna take our blender cup, put the lid on, give it a couple good shakes. Look at it. And then blend it up. All right, check that out. Look at how green and delicious it looks. So now, of course, we wanna put it into our cup. So you wanna grab a cup, like a fairly big cup, because it's a big shake. So you wanna take your cup, you wanna drizzle a little bit of chocolate in there. Look at how thick this is, you guys. Look at it. Look at that. Doesn't that look so good? Look at that. Look at that. Oh, doesn't that look so good? 30 grams of protein right there. Look at that. Fabulous, I'm telling you, fabulous. All right, let's try it. Let's do the taste test. That's insanity. So good. <laughs> The frozen cubes of coconut milk make it like it's a real shake, I'm telling you. It's what it's all about. You guys could potentially have like a shamrock shake, like the healthy shamrock shake, for lunch. It's that good. It's got enough protein in it. If you guys were to go to the fast food place and get this much shamrock shake, this would be 800 calories. 800 calories, but instead, it's only 300 calories and 30 grams of protein. I tried to wear green today too for St. Patrick's Day, but it's obviously not the right green. So I hope you guys enjoyed that recipe. Honestly, it's so 
freaking good. Like it's uber, uber good. You guys totally have to make that, especially if you love shamrock shakes. It's like, it's got the same consistency, it's got the same taste, but it's just got way more protein and it's just way healthier. So if you guys have any questions at all, please comment down below or just comment down below if you guys do decide to make the shake because I would love to know if you guys love it just as much as I do. So I hope you all have an amazing day and I can't wait to see you in the next video. All right, love you.